Okay, uh, today's topic is about uh, geosimple line. You can be asked to write a note on geosimple line. It can be asked to you 10 marks question. So, what is geosimple line? Geosimple line is uh, a concept and an idea. So, two words are here. One is a concept and an idea. This geosynth line is a concept and idea which tells us or which explains us how fold mountains must have been formed. So, this is what? This is a concept and an idea which tells us or which explains us how, how what? How fold mountains must have been, have been formed. Okay, must have been formed. So, this is a concept given by, given by two scholars, two scholars. Number one is, number one is Hall and number two is Dana. Okay, these are two famous scholars. Both the two scholars have given a concept called geosynchy line and geosynchy line is an idea. It is a concept which explains us how, how fold mountains must have been formed, okay. They are, they defined it both uh, Hall and Dana, both, both defined it, it is a massive elongated depression. What? Massive elongated depression. This is what both the two scholars defined it as it is a massive elongated depression which resembles which resembles what valley which resembles valley okay so if i make the diagram and with the help of diagram we can understand it in a more perfect way for example <coughs> they say uh, for example if this is a valley okay but it's a more or massive elongated, massive elongated depression. But on the other hand, they said the length, length of this valley is comparatively much more than its width and depth. This is the length, okay. This is the length of the valley and this is the width of valley, okay. And this is the depth depth of valley okay what they said they said this 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 length is much more than its width as well as its depth for example if i write here the valley's depth is around 3000 kilometers okay this is much more than its width and its depth width is about 2 to 3 kilometers and depth is 1 to 2 kilometers. Whenever you are asked, you are asked, you are being asked to write the note on geosynchy line, please make sure that you are making the diagram also. Okay. So, this is much more in length than its width and its depth. Okay. They also said this valley gets, is, is deepened because of the load and the load is created by the sediments which comes from the uh, mountains. Okay. So, what they also said, they said valley, valley gets deepened, okay, valley gets what? Valley gets uh, deepened because of the load, because of the, because of the load and this load is actually what? This is the deposition of, deposition of what? Deposition of sediments, okay. How can we make the diagram? See, for example, if we see the first stage, okay, if, see, if the valley is like this, this is the valley and this is the deposition of sediments, okay, the sediments gets deposited here. What happens to the next stage, at next stage the valley gets, valley gets deepened, okay, and at third stage valley again goes deepened, okay, and at the fourth stage valley again goes deepened. So, the slope is like this, 
this is the slope that means depth depth increases after every stage depth is increased so depth increases first it was here second stage here third stage here and fourth stage here so this is the slope this is the slope so what they said depth continuously increased because of the pressure and this pressure is because of the load and this load is actually deposition deposition of what deposition of sediments they also said or in other words they said it is a sinking it is a sinking floor okay or i can say mobile mobile sinking okay so this is what hall and dana explains us how how, how uh, fold mountains must have been formed so this is can be asked a question write a note on geosyncline you can write this and you can make diagrams too thank you very much